Hi, I'm Maria from Clam Beach and I'm here to give you a short presentation about the application today. So Clambeat is a healthier learning solution. It's a mobile application designed for teachers, for educators, for learning communities around the world. So we set out on a mission to provide safe and social digital spaces that nurture growth, connection and well-being. In its essence, the mobile application has a number of different features which are all supporting students and learners improve awareness of themselves and awareness of others. We'll get to the features in a bit. The first, let's explore together what we're observing in schools around the world at the moment. So what we see around us, for one, is that successful students need to find better balance, that those who are high achieving are really pushing themselves to the limits. And meanwhile, constant comparison on social media is only making things worse. Young people are comparing themselves against each other, which is affecting their mental health. And ultimately, we see an increasing amount of students who don't have the motivation to go to school anymore, who don't think that they're capable of learning and succeeding in the task, who don't have a growth mindset that um, we'd like to cultivate. For example, this is a student, Daniela, for you here. And on the surface, she looks totally fine. She's got straight A grades. She's starting her business project. She likes reading and cooking. In general, she's very concerned about the environment and whatnot, but underneath, She's feeling overwhelmed and stuck. She doesn't really know how to prioritize, how to manage her time. She's often not sleeping enough. Of course, the uncertainty from COVID-19 is, is leading to even more stress and um, perhaps feeling disconnected and lonely due to distance learning as well. But we also see that it's not only the students who are struggling, that many of the same issues apply to teachers as well. Again, on the surface, they may look cheerful and smiling, they learn all the tasks on time, being innovative and creative in the work, communicating constantly with the school community. But underneath, perhaps spending extra hours to prepare for the classes, they might lack the resources they would want to have to support student mental health and well-being. They cannot find time or energy to connect with each and every student, or perhaps it's just not possible. And they might sometimes think they should quit the profession altogether. And again, uncertainty from COVID is leading to constant stress in the background. In fact, COVID-19 has made many of the problems even worse. We know that we need to pay more attention to well-being than we did before. We need to pay attention to students at the individual level as well as the group level to encourage communication, to cultivate a sense of belonging, which is extremely crucial. We need to strengthen our self-management skills, which refers to planning, to goal setting, reflections as well. And we need to support teachers better in doing that in their classroom. So here's the solution as we've come up with it at Clambeat. First of all, we want to support students to take ownership of their learning and life. We want to see that they are being the agents of their learning journeys, that they can decide what they do and when. So that's self-directed learning. Um, there's this framework that we've developed, which is really quite basic in its essence, but therefore rather powerful, of acting, reflecting and planning. So again, the, the acting part with deciding when and how to take initiative, leading to reflection, where we look back, when we read our feelings, when we gain a sense of perspective on the actions that we took, and we move on to planning phase, ultimately towards the goal of, of growth, of connection, and well-being once more. So how can we support students in getting to that end goal of growth and connection and well-being? We can support our teachers, our educators in nurturing well-being in the classroom for both students as well as themselves, of course. So the application supports social emotional learning through well-being tracking and quality reflections and then self-directed learning through building co-creation and meaningful connections established through the communication. Now. The application itself has been completely co-created with scientists, with head schools, with students, um, educational psychologists from Tallinn University here in Estonia, but um, also students from a number of schools. In fact, we are running workshops throughout the year to take their feedback and input into account in the application's development. Now let's look at the features of the app in a little bit more detail. First, 
focus on supporting well-being. I already mentioned the well-being tracking. We have check-ins either on a daily or a weekly basis so the student answers to very, very short questions on a scale of one to four, providing crucial data for the teacher to know how they're feeling about the given day. And with every post with reflections, um, they can express their moods. How are they feeling? Are they curious? Are they thankful? Are they, th are they tired or anxious? That is feeding into the teacher dashboard and the student dashboard as well. There's red flags for the teachers so that they can see who hasn't answered any check-ins or who's responded with a negative, um, negative mood. There's also data reports compiled at the end of the week sent automatically to the teacher's inbox. It's like a temperature check to see how everyone's doing and who needs extra support. And the student can also reach out to designated staff members, to the school psychologist, for instance, when they really need support. The well-being check-in sequence is as follows. Um, so the student would answer to a check-in question that feeds into the mentor view. Um, there's a detailed view for the student counselor, the mentor, if they so like. And the student themselves can also see their trends uh, over the past week, for instance, so that they can observe their ups and downs and reflect on it. The second pillar is about communication, about creating meaningful connections. We have global learning communities or nests which have content based on the students' needs and interests. We have this feature to get to know your group members and their interests and their bucket list items. We have a random question um, sent out weekly to build a sense of community and again to get to know each other. And ultimately, anti-bullying reporting is part of this as well, where everybody can report anything that they consider offensive or crossing a line in any way. And finally, third important bit is this positive habit building, this plan and act and reflect model, right? So we have an agenda, which you can use to set your daily tasks or your weekly tasks. We have goals or plans that you can share with others as well. We're constantly creating video materials and exercises to help that positive habit building take place. And the app has built-in reflection prompts. And so every Friday is reminding you to, to reflect on the tasks that you set out for the week. Ultimately, getting to a place where we feel that uh, we're developing growth mindset to where we're getting problem solving skills. And there's an awareness of our strengths and weaknesses and motivations and we learn from mistakes. Yeah, uh, these are big things that are taking a while to develop. And ultimately the app is just a, a tool it's not a magic wand of, of anything, but it's here to support you in the process and to make you more aware of where you are and where you would like to go. So how do we support you along this, this way? Um, we have our insights, so the videos and exercises I mentioned earlier, which can be used on their own um, without the application actually, or you can implement Clam Beach for your community with these exercises. We have a whole knowledge base with different materials that help teachers, educators in particular, to introduce Clam Beach in the classroom. And we have a global community. So we see that the teachers who come to Clam Beach, they're like-minded, tech savvy perhaps, interested in innovation, interested in self-development. We bring them together so that they can share their practices and insights with each other. Our community is truly global at this point. We're working in many countries around the world. Most countries in, in Europe, um, but also in South Asia, in India, in Sri Lanka, we're moving on to Middle East, to Dubai in particular, and there's a recent interest in the US and Canada as well. In Estonia, we managed to reach 40% of Estonian schools in just four months. Estonia is considered the education nation, um, ranking high in PISA tests and so on. So schools are quite open to innovative tools and technology. Now, the experiences have been mixed, um, honestly speaking. It's not easy to implement a tool straight away. It needs some time and consistency and really developing practices related to Clam Beach. But ultimately, students are saying that it's giving them an opportunity to experience caring, uh, to notice themselves and to express themselves, create more contact with each other. For teachers, it's bringing about a new dynamics in the, in the classroom. So it's an opportunity to give students more responsibility in planning and managing their activities. Clambit is secure. We take this aspect of the application very, very seriously. So all the data is encrypted, for instance, we're completely GDPR compliant. So we're not owning, controlling, we're not using 
data in any way. We're not selling it to third parties. Um, the application is non-commercial. It's ad-free completely. So um, you can be certain that uh, you're safe and secure with us as we work with miners. This is very, very, very important. And ultimately, it's easy to set up. I'll explain the process in a minute, but it only takes two to three minutes, basically. So that's it. Just wanted to say that we need to take action. We see that well-being is a very important topic. Mental health is something that has to be addressed in schools. We need to contribute to a world where unknown is embraced with grace. And we hope that you are ready to step up with us as well. So how does it work? Let's go through the steps very quickly as well. You would download Clambeat as a teacher, as an educator. You would get your profile, you'd get comfortable, you'd find your way around the application. You'd invite others on board and then you'd just start. You would go ahead and, and implement your first practice. The downloading, uh, you can find the application on Google Play or App Store. You can create your account um, in three different ways. You can sign in again um, from the web browser using that same account, basically. So you can access it to multiple devices at the same time. The application is free to download. You have a six-week trial until some of the features will become paid over well. Now, to create your profile, you just need to follow the steps and the instructions on the screen. Fill in your personal details, your interests, your contact links. You can edit this any time in the future. And note that this is a private space, so you're building this little nest, your community, your organization. This is not visible to anybody else. It's not a random social media platform that we are creating here. No, it's a very safe and secure environment only for your group members. So that's your opportunity now to try out all the features. Once you've created this account, you can create posts, you can create reflections. There's nobody else seeing them except for you because there's no other members in your group yet. So you can choose whether the check-in questions would be on or off, whether they would be set to daily or to weekly. And you can always delete these posts before you bring your members on board. I would recommend leaving a welcoming posts, um, encouraging people to say hello as they enter, for instance, but that's completely up to you to design. Once you feel that you know the application, you know how you're going to use it, um, you can invite others on board with this access code. So they would download the app and say, I'm a student, I'm going to join a group that already exists, and then they're prompted to enter a code, um, which they would, and end up in that space. You can see everybody who's joined in the community view. We have um, several instruction videos and demos on our YouTube channel, but honestly, it's really quite intuitive and simple. Students don't have any issues, <laughs> nor do teachers in creating these accounts. And now comes practice. Now comes the work. We recommend introducing Clambeat or any new technology really if you are together in the classroom, just because then you can include everybody, you can see that everyone creates an account and ends up in that space and nobody's left out. Um, the first practice that you might think about implementing are these daily well-being check-ins. So just agree that everybody answers to how they were sleeping, how they're feeling about today in the morning, and then two questions in the evening so that you can develop a rhythm, routine, something that feels natural that everybody's used to and then build on that, perhaps add reflections or, or add any other um, feature from the application to your practice. And ultimately, um, that's it. You can just decide how to use the application for you. We've tried to create a safe space, um, which is not like Facebook in the sense that is it's focused on well-being it's focused on creating a connection and on personal development right so you go in there with a certain intention um, and your focus is on well-being as well so you're not going to get I don't know, cat pictures or ads or whatnot um, all sorts of information no it's really focused on that community that group that you've created know that you can always always reach out to us for support we're here to develop this journey together with you. We can give you advice on how to 
implement these practices, how to interpret the data, how to move on, um, how to develop a pilot program for a number of classrooms in your school. Just reach out to us anytime and uh, look forward to hearing from you. So let's continue with the demo to see how the application actually works. As you open the app, you end up on your home screen. An important button here to notice is the lightning bolt on the top, where you can see all the latest activity of your group. This is also the place where you and your students can see the prompts to our well-being check-in questions. So every time you open the app, this activity feed is the first place to check out. Right next to the feed is the chat bubble, where you can send private messages to anybody in the group. The third icon refers to settings, where you can edit your profile, access materials, give us feedback, and so on. Here's the name of your school or your workplace, your organization. At Plan Beach, we refer to it as a nest. You can also be part of multiple nests at a time. So below are quick links to different places or resources. Feel free to explore these and see where they take you. There's two things I'd like to highlight. First, here is the dashboard where you can see all the red flags and the well-being data of your group. Note that this is only visible to you. Your students, your group members don't get to see any data of each other at all, only for themselves. There's also the Manage tab where you can find the access code for inviting your group members, for example. That's also only visible to you as the group lead. Let's now check out the different views, which you can access via the icons in the bottom of the screen. We'll start with the rightmost button, the community view. Everyone can see the group members and explore the personal profiles. You can swipe right to see the most popular interests and dreams, and you can click on an interest to see everyone who's listed that item. This is a great activity to do together in the classroom to get to know each other better. Right next to the community is the shared feeds view. This is where all the group communication happens. You can easily create a post like this and share the post with the whole group, or maybe just selected members to reduce unnecessary noise. And you can check what your members are sharing and respond to it with comments or reactions. Our reactions are not simply likes, so you can hold your finger on it to see uh, what it means. So make a hug, for instance, I'm glad you shared. That's empathic communication for you right there. If you click on give a hug, for instance, the person will receive a notification for that on their phone. Next um, button in the middle then is your profile view. This is a space where everyone can access key information about themselves, their reflections, their interests, their personal well-being data. It's also the place where you can write a reflection at any time. The app will, by the way, automatically remind you to do so on Friday afternoons. Finally, we get to the planner. Here you can see your own tasks or create new ones to share with group members. Let's create a simple one as an example, Let's say English project. So once you've created the task, you can share it with your students who can add it to their planners together with labels and notes. So that's self-directed learning for you right there. Back to the homepage, there's one important topic I wanted to cover, which is privacy. So private messages and individually shared posts will remain private until somebody finds something offensive and thinks it requires the group lead's attention. So they report it. Everybody can report each other's posts um, by clicking on the three dots and reporting, which then ends up in the same dashboard that we saw earlier for you as the group lead. You'll be able to see their explanation for reporting it as well and the content. So this is how we're trying to reduce bullying while supporting taking common responsibility for this caring culture. So that's it. Yeah, you're ready to explore the application on your own. Feel free to press all the buttons to create posts, perhaps delete them before you bring others on board. Um, check out our resource space if you'd like, and you can always, always reach out to us with any questions. We're here to support you. Thank you.